Hi, if you've always wanted a dishwasher but you're limited for space, if you can't get a 60cm standard dishwasher or even one of the slimline 45cm dishwashers then, then this could be the answer. It's the Bosch SKS 62E32U tabletop dishwasher and what I want to do today is to take you around the dishwasher, show you some of the features and benefits that it's got. So I've got it plugged in, let's have a look. So the first thing to show you are the dimensions on this. So clearly if you're after this kind of model, then the space will be fairly critical. So on this model, the width is 55 centimeters, the height is 45 and the depth. So front to back, um, so on this dishwasher, because it is quite flat at the front, then it's 50 centimeters. Uh, if you're taking into account the dial as well, then I'd add another sort of centimeter and a half. Uh, and for installation purposes, again, I'd probably add another couple of centimetres. So really the minimum, I suppose, installed depth you'd be wanting to look at is, is around 52 to 53 centimetres. But overall, yeah, still compared to a standard size dishwasher, then it's a lot smaller. So what I'll do is I'll take you through some of the programmes and how it all operates. So you will notice on the left hand side here, you've got the on and off button. And the first thing you'll notice is that you've got this really nice uh, red LED display. Uh, I've always liked this on the Bosch products. This kind of display has been fairly standard for, for several years now, uh, so I'm glad Bosch have stuck with this. And to the left of the display, you've got the control dial, so it's nice and easily labelled, just showing the different programmes. Uh, so the first programme to mention is this one that it's, that it's sat on at the moment. This is the 70 degree wash. This is the, the highest temperature that it goes to. And you will find that some of the program times look quite long, uh, but there is an option around here to quicken those. I'll just show you that in a moment. So this is the uh, 70 degree program. So this is really ideal if you've got if you've done things like a Sunday roast, uh, or if you've got very greasy plates or dishes that you want to put in. Uh, the next one. This is a really great program. This is the auto 45 to 65 degree. And what you'll find with this program. Uh, this will actually detect how dirty everything is after you've started the program. So once you've selected it, then what it will do is it will actually take in a certain amount of water to start with, and then it will actually detect how dirty the water is, and it will select a temperature between 45 to 65 degrees, depending on how dirty the water is. And it's a, it's a great option. Um, um, I mean, we've got something like this at home, and I must admit that program we tend to use more. Um, mainly because we're not really sure what the ideal temperature is for the wash so it's always better to try and uh, use the technology that Bosch offer to come up with the, the solution so yeah but you don't actually know what temperature it is but the time normally varies so it always starts off at 2 hours 15 but sometimes after about 10-15 minutes then it does drop quite a bit the next program is the Eco 50 and this is a much more energy efficient program uh, so if you're not in a hurry, and as you can see it does go up to almost four hours, which for this size dishwasher you probably think that that's quite a long program, uh, but really what we normally suggest is to use, if you can use that program then it is more energy efficient and it does use less water electricity uh, compared to some of these programs around this side. And then as you go on to the next program, this is the 40 degree, uh, it's like a delicate wash, so if you have got um, things in your cupboard that you want to look after a little bit more then this is an ideal wash so at, at around an hour and a half it is much quicker than the eco program as well or if you're really in a hurry then you have got this program here this is the uh, 45 degree and uh, it's a 43 minute program and then lastly you've just got a quick rinse program which is 15 minutes uh, but I did mention about some of the times earlier that some of the times in the programs are quite long especially to go to the eco program. Um, what Bosch have done is they've thought of this as a solution. So if you if you do need uh, for the program to be quicker, then they've come up with this option called Speed Perfect. And what it will do is it will reduce the time of each program. Uh, well, these main programs, not really the, the quick one because that's already a quick program. So if you press the Speed Perfect, then that reduces the eco program to an hour and 50. And so on this program, the auto 45 to 65, that reduces it to just under an hour and a half. Uh, 
and also on the 70 degree program it reduces it from two hours to an hour and a half so it takes a, a big chunk of time off uh, each program uh, but as I say if you were going to use the quick program 43 minutes then you can't speed that up uh, the other thing to mention is that you have got the you've got an extra drying option so if you do want everything to be a little bit drier then you've got the option just there and you've also got a time delay so if you wanted it to be delayed um, the main advantage of, of this is if you've got things like economy 7 at home where you get cheap electricity during the night then this is a great way to get it to start a little bit later so you can delay it by up to 24 hours and then after the 24 hours then it just goes back to the standard time uh, so once you've selected the program uh, clearly you have got some different options on here uh, so you've got the indicators showing you that there is an issue at the moment so clearly I'm just in the showroom I've not got this connected so I do need to put things like salt rinse aid and I do need to connect it to a water supply as well uh, but as I was saying once you've selected the program then all you need to do is press start in the middle there and the program will start and then the time of the program will count down so it's a, a really nice feature on there and but if you have selected a wrong program so if you start the program by accident then just press and hold the start to button for three seconds and then what that will do is that will actually pause the program and then that just enables you to select another one and to get going again so as we go inside the dishwasher uh, first thing to notice is that you've got a really nice easy grip handle so it's nice and easy to open the door uh, on this model it's actually six play settings uh, just to give you an idea that on a standard dishwasher so on a standard under the counter 60 centimeter dishwasher you're normally looking around 12 or 13 play settings uh, and on a 45 centimeter slimline dishwasher you're looking around eight or nine play settings so when you pull the basket out first thing you notice is that you've got the cutlery tray in here uh, this is again quite a small cutlery tray but for this size of dishwasher then you, you shouldn't need anything much bigger you've actually got this on top and the reason Bosch do this is what they want you to try and do is to keep everything separate so when you load in your knives forks and spoons in here then try and put them in the individual slots um, it's always a better option to try and do that uh, I must admit there's a lot of people, including ourselves, where we don't use this. Uh, the main reason is that when you're putting things in, they can be a little bit fiddly to get out. Plus, if you don't use it, then you can actually get more room. But I shouldn't really be saying that. Uh, but what you will notice is that this can go anywhere along here. Because you've got the slots underneath the basket, then it's nice that there's not just one position that it has to go in the dishwasher. Um, also what you've got on the left hand side here you've got these little racks so if you've got things like little espresso cups or long bread knives then that's an ideal location for them I'll just take this out to show you inside the dishwasher and what you will notice is that you've got the spray arm in here so this comes out so if you do need to clean it then that's nice and easy you've also got the filter in here so again, that just pulls out as uh, a nice and easy option to just go and take this to a sink, rinse it under warm water every now and then, just make sure it's nice and clean, because that's important to keep clean. And when it comes to filling it up, so this is where you put the dishwasher tablet. Once you put it in there, then you just click that shut, and then part way through the wash, then that will automatically open. On the right hand side, you've got the rinse aid, that's nice and easy to fill and uh, just inside here this is where you put the dishwasher salt so what you do is you just twist that and then once you've got that off then you just fill that with the salt now I'll just show you around the back of the dishwasher if you're going to be installing it and the first thing you'll notice is you've got the mains connection on the left hand side here um, in the middle here I've, I won't unwrap it all but you've got the water connection and on this you've got this little device and this is a leak sensor so it just connects up to the normal cold water supply because as with pretty much all dishwashers now they're just cold water fill um, but all you do is you just kept that up and this is a leak sensor so if you do get a leak at all um, at any time while it's in operation then it will actually tell you on the front so that's a really good option 
And also when it comes to the waste hose, so this is how it's connected, and that just connects on the right hand side here. So if you are thinking about buying one of these models, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch SKS 62 E32U tabletop dishwasher. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments about the video itself or if you've got any questions on the dishwasher or if you've got any queries on it, if you think about buying one, if you're not sure about something then leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.